Okay, so we're gonna just talk about the boundaries really quick, okay? Divergent. What does if two paths diverge? Okay. They, if two paths diverge, they split apart. So divergent plate boundaries split apart. So how might we diagram that? Oh wait, do I know you something? Have, like, two arrows, like, on I don't know. I, yeah, I'm gonna do it like this Are because that you, you can draw it however you want no, because yes, you should write down anything that's here, anything that I've added. What? Do I know how I remember the difference between divergent and sure? All right, so I think of like convergent as like like a marriage sort of because like you know you're like you're combining and stuff like coming together. You're converging. And then I think of like. Divergent as like a divorce, like you're splitting. Yes, you're divorcing, perhaps. Maybe yeah, you could think of it that way. That's, that's really insensitive of you, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting divorced, so that's Divine. really ice cold. Yeah. All right. Um, oops, I want to put this up here. So if we have oceanic, oceanic divergent. Okay. What's that? Yeah, two oceanic plates <laughs> pulling apart. The, the big thing is that new seafloor is formed and oceanic ridges are formed, okay? Is it always both or can it sometimes be? It could be either. It could be just new seafloor or it could be a seafloor ridge. Depends on the magma that's underneath, whether it's pushing up or it's just splitting apart, right? Because a ridge is going to be up, like the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, for example. Why are you unfortunate? Okay. You're unfortunate. Hey, note. These words should all look familiar to you. Seafloor spreading, oceanic ridges, rift valley. Those words should be familiar. Okay? So let's think about the fact that if two continents pull apart, a rift valley forms. Okay? Because there's not necessarily anything to push that up. Because right, they're pulling apart. Yes, sir. He's, a, he's asking why it should be familiar. No, I said where is it on yeah. Oh, it's a continental, continental. What's that? <laughs> Questions about divergent pulling apart. I need to write down my thing. When it pulls apart, does it get, does it like rise or does it get low? For which? For the, um, the continent. No, because it's, it's forming, it, it kind of, as it pulls apart, it sinks a little. So a va it's a valley. Yeah. Convergence yeah. when it like hits together and it rises up. Yes. Olivia, <laughs> 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 put that away. And reset ocean Don't care. Okay. Uh, so my so my convergent coming together, perhaps getting married, or um, two paths converge. They come together. Okay. So we're looking at. We're looking, sure, whatever we need to do to, fi to remember this. Just two paths diverge or they converge, okay? Plates diverge, plates converge. So we could. All right, so I'm going to draw these. I'm going to try and draw these from the side rather than like top down, okay? So oceanic. Oops, I don't want the highlighter. I want this one. Hold on. All right, so remembering that we are under the ocean when this is happening. Okay, I'm drawing it a little differently because it's two oceanic crusts coming at each other and then one of them gets crushed underneath. Okay, so I'm drawing it from the side rather than like straight on. Okay. What, what is the word for that one crust that goes underneath? It starts with an S. It is subducting or subduction. Okay? I will write that. Oceanic crusts collide. One subducts under the other. Okay, so they're colliding and one of them goes down and the other. The one that's going underneath is melting back into magma. 
Okay, so going back into the the outer core. What? Oceanic crust. Okay, we're talking. When I say oceanic, oceanic convergent plate boundaries, they are both underwater. Okay. Two significant examples would be the Aleutian Islands and the Mariana Islands. Does anybody know where the Aleutian Islands are? Yeah. The Aleutian Islands? Nobody. No. They're off the tip of um, Alaska. Off Alaska. Those little islands that dot 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 outside Alaska. Okay. So the other thing that's formed, ladies and gentlemen, you've probably seen this picture before. The trench. Okay, when one gets pushed under the other, there's a nice little valley that forms. Okay, it would be a valley on the Earth, on the actual continent, but in the oceans, it's a trench. Okay, there's also the Marianas Trench. Okay, sensible. Hopefully. Okay, I put an O and a C for oceanic and continental because we're looking at convergent plates. One is oceanic, one is <coughs> continental. Okay? Somebody tell me which one is more dense. By the, by the diagram I have. Continental. Oceanic because it sinks. I, I, agree with, I agree with the oceanic people. And also, I think we, we did a little web quest a while back that said that oceanic is more dense. It's, it's made of basalt. Okay, and that's a much more dense, heavier thing. So yeah, it's gonna go when it slides under. It's gonna go. What's square? Those are two O's. I tried. Okay, give me a break. Oceanic oceanic. Oceanic oceanic. Okay. 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 Okay, so oceanic is more dense. So when an ocean and a plate, uh, excuse me, an, an oceanic plate and a continental plate collide, the oceanic one is going to get subducted underneath. Okay, you guys can write that yourself. I'll that type it up. So wrong. Subduction? Subduction. <laughs> <laughs> so right, it's not getting abducted, it's getting subducted. So it's getting sucked under, but also abducted. Maybe you think of it like that. Being taken yeah, under, being taken under and melted yeah. by the magma. It's being smothered to the melting point. Okay. Again, oceanic crust subducts underneath the continental crust, forms a trench. Okay. Trench, remember, is under the water. Okay. So in the water, there's going to be a trench. Okay. You guys can diagram this, draw it however you want to. Okay. But. On the continent itself, right up up there, like right where this kind of where the arrow is here, that makes we're gonna have a volcanic mountain range, okay? Oh. Versus a volcanic island arc, which would be something like just some volcanoes in the ocean. Those are some nice volcanoes. Those are volcanoes. Uh, is that like the top view? Those are that, and yeah, this is the water here. You see? Okay. They look like versus versus here's my continent. With some volcanoes on it. Wait, so the volcanoes float above the water? <laughs> no, they don't float above the water. Does Hawaii float on the water? Yes. Well, no, it looks like it's floating above well, the water. Well, you know what? Just it looks yes. like it's <laughs> They're hovercraft. Can we be a little more picky, please? Seriously, I'm just yeah. messing School with School just started again. We've been away for 11 days, and I get critiqued. Yeah, oh my god, my god. need to be Simon Cowell, please. Yeah, geez, Simon Cowell doesn't, doesn't even, even do American Valley, doesn't even do that anymore. He does the X Factor. I know. I'm practicing for next period when I criticize a little prince card. I'm impressed. Blue princess. It was a terrible book. It's not, it's rough. I feel like every time I have to read it, I feel like it gets stupider. How many times do you have to read it? It's like every section I read, I feel like oh, okay. it's getting really All right, so again, quiet, please. The crust subducts under the continental crust. The oceanic crust goes under the continental crust. It melts back into the hot liquid magma and becomes magma again to then be cycled and pushed back up somewhere else. Okay, forms a trench under the water and a volcanic island arc. Such as the Andes Mountains. Does anybody know where the Andes Mountains are? Around uh, Peru. Yes, Close Chile, enough, yeah. Chile, and South America. Chile. Okay. Oh yeah. All right. Chile. I can give you. All right. I got. I got this. I got this. Are you gonna make mountains now? I'm gonna make another program. South America. 
Andy's Mountain Dew. 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 Andy's Pacific Ocean, South America, Andes Mountains, some crazy volcanoes. Whatever. Copy that. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna take a picture of that with my iPad. Put it on your test. You have to guess what it is. Because you're mocking me. That's why. Andes Mountains. Well, then you put all three circles. Are you gonna have to say those are volcanoes? Yeah. You know what? Maybe. Those are aliens. I'm just gonna draw three circles and you have to guess whether they're like mountains, volcanoes, I or circles. You to do that. Oh, those are alien invaders, right? Yeah. Alright. Those are alien invaders. Here's your Let's do one more. Okay. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's see. Wouldn't it go off? Yeah. Alright. Continental, continental. Same thing. One has to subduct under the other. This just it's just natural. You you may have, only this one has two C's on it. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's just like the two squares. Right? Now, I will make a note. This is very important, especially for this one. <laughs> the ocean one is going under, subducting under the continental one. Okay? Obviously, it doesn't matter how you draw the other ones, because they're the same. It's all right. It's all right. What words? Yeah, we'll get there. Okay, some more stuff for you guys to write down. So this is why this is pretty much how all mountains are formed. And that's why not very many of them are. That's why they're well, what's, what do you mean natural? They, they, like they were already there. Yeah. yeah, from maybe like pre-Pangea. Isn't that why they're at the edge of India and Asia? Yes. Yes, that would be the Himalayan mountains. Yeah. That I have up here. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so write this down. Two continental crusts collide, crumble, fold, and form mountains. Yeah, that was very dramatic. It is dramatic. They form mountains. <laughs> so exciting. Only it happens like really slow, like as fast as your fingernails grow in a year. Like so that's a lot, though. They'd be like here. I know, true. So that means the mountain moves too. Which is, if you think about it in terms of a mountain, that's not very far. Think about how long it takes for a fingernail to go 3,000 miles. Alright, I got, alright. Uh, little, little demonstration. I think this is the right video. I think so. Oh, come on, quick time. What, what? You'll be alright. Yeah, Not in a format. Oh shoot. We got it. It better save that. Okay. Good. All right. What I was gonna do, I was gonna try and pull up one of your flipbook videos, but they're also terrible. It doesn't matter. Does everybody copy this down? Oh, wait, wait, I need to, let me do okay. all this. Let us, let us think about the Himalayas. Focus. Listen. So that the recorder picks up my voice only. Quiet. Okay, let us think about that little niblet of a continent that once upon a time was a continent on its own, India. And then Eurasia, this giant continent. And look, it like ever so slowly worked its way up here. And then crashes into Eurasia, like actually crashes into it, and forms these giant mountains. Oh my God. And then like, so someone was living right along the coast. Right at that exact so moment. Ah! They just crashed. They have their feet in the water. I know. Do you think? Do you think somebody was just standing there, like on Asia, being like? Looks like India's on the way over here. Oh, I'm wait, just wait, gonna stay and watch. Some kind of like jump. Oh, yeah. I, I think Asia might have done something. Like one standing at the edge. It's like whoa, 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 whoa,
on for the last one. Transform fall boundaries. I would really recommend drawing these as like two plates because they because they rub against each other really uncomfortably. It means it doesn't make a mountain, doesn't make a valley, doesn't make anything. It just makes earthquakes. Okay, so let's picture ourselves grinding at prom, and things get a little things get a little weird. Earthquakes. I don't know. You guys are being creepy. Dude, I'm, try, I'm trying to give you guys like word associations here. You're seeing words. Crustal deformation. So a really well-known and a really well-studied fault system, transform fault system, is the San Andreas Fault in California, where lots of earthquakes happen. All right, you guys, you guys, I don't want to be distracted by this. I want to give you another picture. California. Uh, ocean. Ocean. That's the best shoreline drawing you've had all day. Ocean. Plate. Plate goes this way. Plate goes this way. Earthquake. Hear that sound effect? Earthquake. Okay. And you can actually tell. Hush. For a second. Almost done. Okay. So I brought a picture for you guys of the San Andreas Fault. Okay. It's not actually One without giant at, the, at the exact border of California and the ocean, okay? As you guys can see pretty clearly. Kind of goes into that a little bit. I, I actually drew my arrows backwards. Why would you do that? I was just doing it really quickly, you know. You guys mock my drawings anyway. Okay, so this plate is going that way, and this plate is going that way, okay? And they grind against each other really uncomfortably, really painfully, and cause earthquakes. 